right, so today you just need light weights. Have a towel in case you want to wipe some sweat off your face and water if you feel like you need water in the middle. And I'm going to do one, a one hour Inferno Hot Pilates class. So um, I've got my, all my timers. I got timers everywhere. I got this timer, so I know if I'm going over. I've got my timer for our hip portion and our core portion. So doing, during the hip and core portion, we will do eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And that's for core, and then that's for the cardio or the hip portion. And that's it. I will walk us through it. I'll do my best to walk you through it. And I'll give you modifications if you feel like you need them. So just go ahead and start on your back. Lay down on your back. The first um, about 30 minutes is all on our back or our side. So um, yeah. So just lay on your back for a moment. Take your arms out nice and long above your head. Feet um, out in front of you and just give yourself a nice long let it go deep breath in and big exhale out so keep your arms long big inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth let's do that two more times you can bring your hands by your side big inhale in uh, exhale, let it go. You got one more breath to melt into your mat. Good, excellent job. All right, we're gonna bring your knees up, feet, heels are underneath your knees and you're just in a neutral spine. Your gaze is up towards your ceiling and you're just going to place your palms by your side, palms facing down. <clears throat> now, you're going to slightly tuck your chin towards your chest. We are going to do one neutral breath, hip lift, and then we'll um, articulate our spine a little bit more. So palms are by your side, nice relaxed shoulders and back neutral spine so don't do anything with your pelvic floor just keep it nice and neutral take a deep breath in and then a big exhale lift your hips straight up so just feel that neutral spine you're kind of even maybe you just feel like your glutes feel really heavy and that's okay we're going to articulate through our spine the next two breaths so your peripher peripheral vision you should see the tops of your knees so you're not looking over at your knees, but you should see your knees in your peripheral vision. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower your spine one vertebrae at a time. So that's a nice neutral spine. So the next two breaths, we're going to curl and tuck our hips. Think of hips to ribs. So you're gonna create that little curl and tuck. So take a deep breath in, start to Curl your hips, but just take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift your hips, feel the difference. You should feel your glutes engage and the tops of your feet are firmly on your mat. Your knees are in your vision. Good, take a breath up here. And then take another nice, long, deep breath in. Exhale one vertebrae at a time. Good, we'll do that one more time. Think a chest or shoulders to your mat as you tuck, curl, breath in. Exhale, lift your hips. This time engage your glutes a little bit more. You should be creating an arrow from the hip bone to the shoulders. It should be one straight line. So your ribs are not lifting up so high that you're pushing into your shoulders. Your shoulders are relaxed and neutral. And there's a straight line from your shoulders to your hips. Your vision is looking right over the knees. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower. Beautiful. Now, take your fingers and make a diamond with your thumb and your fingertips and bring your thumbs underneath your belly button. We're going to just do a little spinal warm-up here. So, um, you're going to pre 
bring an imaginary ball in the middle of your diamond. You're going to roll that ball towards your index fingers, towards your fingers. So you're lifting your spine, creating an arch in your spine. Relax your shoulders, take a deep breath in. And then exhale and pull the marble towards your thumbs. You have a pelvic tilt. That is a C curved, that's a Pilates spine there. You're creating a hollow belly, belly button to ribs. Take a breath in. Exhale, roll the ball back towards your fingers, fingertips. Create that arch in your spine, breath in. Exhale, roll the marble back towards your thumbs. Good, now that was just a little warm up of our spine. Come back to a neutral spine, palms facing down. We're gonna do uh, three different types of a bridge work and we're gonna work through three different um, position of our feet, warming up the glutes, getting nice and hot in the glutes here. So I'm gonna walk you through it. So the first one, we're going to tuck and curl our belly and we're going to lift our hips up. And then we're gonna lower our hips to a hover and then lift them back up. So we're gonna inhale and exhale, hover and lift. So we're not hovering too high, but as we come up, we're squeezing our glutes. The count is like this, lift and hover, lift and hover, good. So breathing in and out, continue that pace, lift and hover, lift and hover. Keep going, I'm gonna turn the music on here, that way we can, let me turn it on, just keep lift, hover, lift, hover. Inhale, exhale, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, keep your hips high, come to the balls of your feet, walk your feet slightly closer. So your hips are high, you can see your knees on your peripheral vision. You're just gonna lower your heels and lift your heels. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Heels only, hips are reaching up towards your ceiling. Lift and lower, working our calves, working our ankles, squeezing our glutes. Good, lift and lower, lift and lower. Just the heels, lift and lower. For 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three more, two, one. Now lift your heels, hold everything up and a little tiny pulse, pulse, pulse of your glutes. Squeeze your glutes, just pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep your hips nice and high. Hip bones are reaching towards your ceiling. You should start to feel everything warming up. Squeeze your glutes, pulse, pulse, pulse. For five, four, we're gonna go double time. Three, two, one, pulse, 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 pulse. So it's a double time pulse. A small movement of your hips for 10, 9, 8, 7, pulse, pulse, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it, squeeze everything for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, slowly lower your spine, lower your heels, one vertebrae at a time, and then give your knees a hug. Pull them in your chest. You should feel that stretch in your low back as you rock your hips from side to side. Good. Now take your feet to the edge of your mat and just bring your toes right off the mat. Heels are in. We're, in a, we're gonna come to a wide bridge. Again, your feet, your heels are underneath your hips, palms by your side. Same thing, you should see your knees in your peripheral view. We're gonna lift and hover, lift and hover. Same thing, breathe, inhale, exhale, squeeze your glutes. So this will work your outer glutes, it'll work your inner calf muscles. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Inhale, exhale, relaxing our shoulders, letting the chest reach down 
towards your mat, pull your belly button in, squeeze your glutes. Lift and lower for 10, nine, eight, control it, seven, squeeze your glutes the whole time. Make sure those knees aren't flaring out for five, four, three, two more. Last one, lift those hips up, come to the balls of your feet, walk your feet in slightly, lift and lower your heels, same thing. Pull your glutes in. Remember to keep that line from your hips to your shoulders so your ribs are not reaching too high. You're nice and neutral. Squeeze your glutes. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good. For 10, nine, eight, breathe. Seven, if you're breathing, you're doing it right. Six, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one, now lift those heels and pulse, little pulse, squeeze those inner glutes, squeeze, squeeze, inner glutes, outer glutes, squeeze, 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 nice and slow, little pulse, 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 good, breathe it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now double time, pulse, 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 little tiny squeeze, 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 breathe, 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 for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold, for 10, nine, eight, squeeze your glutes as tight as you can, five, four, three, two, one, slowly lower, control it all the way down, one vertebrae at a time. Take your knees, take a wide tug here, shake it from side to side. We got one more series in our bridge series. Bring your feet back down, <clears throat> take your heels four inches apart, big toes touch. Okay, so we're gonna pull our inner thighs to touch, pull your knees together. Palms are by your side. Your hips will not come as high. I really want you to squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes. All right, knees should be in your peripheral vision, palms by your side. Lift and hover, lift, release. Breathe up and down, lift, lower. Inhale, exhale, good. Keep it up, lift, lower. Inner thighs are squeezing, lift, lower. Pull your belly in for 10, nine, eight. Keep it going, breathe it up and down for five, four. Big toes are touching, three. Heels are out, two, one. Hold it up, hold it up and pulse, keep your heels down, pulse, 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 pulse it up, pulse, up, up, beautiful, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, double time, pulse, 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 squeeze, pull everything in, squeeze, squeeze, pulse, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up and squeeze it, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, keep it up there, now take your feet, turn your feet so that they're right in front of your heels, I want you to touch your knees, release, touch, release, Squeeze, keep your knees parallel to one another. It's just a very small touch, release. Touch, squeeze your inner thighs. 10, nine, breathe. Seven, six, five, feet are flat, hips are high. Three, two, one, now double time. Touch, 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 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Work those inner thighs. Two, one, 
and slowly lower your hips. Yes, pull your knees into your chest, give them a hug. Ah, beautiful work. All right, shake it out. We're gonna go ahead and come to our core section. So grab your weights. You just need one weight for this first exercise. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take your weight in your left hand and you're gonna bring your shins parallel to the mat. I want you to pull your low back down. So belly button to ribs, pull it down, create that curve that we talked about. So there's a little tuck of your tail. You're gonna bring your knees to the right, arm to the left, and then come back to center. Right hand can be by your side. Out and center. Okay, so we're gonna do this four times to the right, and then we're gonna switch four times to the left. Right here. So you wanna control it and lift it. If it bothers your low back, you can bring your knees down and do it with your knees down. Okay, this is your modification, or you can just forget about the weight. I'm gonna be using the timer for this. So we're gonna have the 20 seconds on, 10 second rest, okay? So go ahead and place that, place your back down. Find that C-curved spine, so really draw your belly button to your ribs. Left arm comes up, knees stay together, feet are parallel, or shins are parallel to the ceiling. Set, go. 20 seconds. Center. Take your time, use your breath. Shh. Exhale that breath. Shh. Good, control it, it is not fast. Shh. You're really working those obliques. And rest, rest, take your rest. 10 second rest. Start to draw your shins up, arm up, set, go. Same side, right side. Keep that weight in your left arm, two. Keep it going. Working those obliques. And rest. You got two more rounds on this right side. Take your rest. Shins parallel, left arm up, go. Use your breath. So I want you to exhale that breath as you come up. Remember that breath forces your belly to do the work. Working those obliques. You got it. And rest. One more round on the right. Set. Go. Last round. Exhale your breath. Nice controlled movement here. Do not hold your breath, whatever you do. Get all that air out. Shh. And rest. Okay, we're going to switch sides. So place the weight in your right hand <clears throat> as you draw those knees to the left. Go. Shh. Shh. So the weight helps control. Keep those shins parallel. Keep that L shape in your legs as much as you can. Anytime you need to rest, rest. Take a rest. We have three more rounds. Then we move to our side plank series. Set, go.
Rest. We're almost there. You got one more round. Set. Go. Make sure you're exhaling. Use that breath. And rest. All right, you can go ahead and release your weight. We're going to come to our right side. If you need a drink of water, grab a drink of water. We're going to come to our right side, getting ready for our plank series. So in our plank series, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It's a little bit too loud. Okay, so in your plank series, we're going to come to a side plank to start. So you're going to, modification, left leg can be on top. Left leg can be in front of the right or stacking both feet, feet are flexed towards you. Right elbow, right shoulder are in alignment, okay? So if your shoulder is... If you don't have, you need that same straight line from your shoulder to your hips. So when you come up, you need that straight line. If you're sagging, then bring your foot out in front. You want to get strong before you injure some other part of your body. Okay, so wherever your side plank is, we're going to hold our side plank for 30 seconds. Then we're going to come down for 30 seconds. Left, left arm reaches up. We're going to tap, bring it out, tap, bring it out. Tap for 30 seconds, and then for the last 30 seconds, we're going to come all the way down, and we're going to bring the bottom leg to the top, okay? So we're going to, that's going to be our three, all right? Bottom leg to top. This is all working the side of our body, all right? <clears throat> so go ahead. I'm going, to I'm going to have the timer, and I'm going to tell you when to switch. So go ahead and get set. Wherever you are for your first side plank, palm is down, set, lift, and go. 30 seconds on the clock. Good, you're almost there. Keep going. Good, you got 15 seconds here. Breathe. You can bring that left arm up. You can look up towards your arm. If your shoulder is bothering you, move your feet for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hips. Keep your right arm down. Left arm comes up. Reach. 30 seconds. Reach. Good. Nice long straight leg. Reach. Work in that side body. Keep it up. You got 15 seconds here. So we got to get that side plank series in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Come all the way down. Lift your left leg up. Your hand can come to your hip or in front of you. Right leg to left. Lift. Lift at your own pace. You got... 20 seconds here. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Up to you, your speed. For 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1, and break. Good job. Change. So now we're going to come forward. We're going to come to our prone series. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> For the prone series, we're gonna start in a high plank. So option feet together, that's the hardest. Feet separated is modified, and if you need to, you can bring your feet down. What I don't wanna see is you modifying here. I would rather you come to a plank and just draw your knees down, because you're still working those shoulders. Okay, so 30 seconds in a plank, and then we're gonna take the right, the right leg up, 30 second pulse. So it's gonna get long, you're gonna get strong. And then left leg, 30 second pulse. 
And then we're gonna do rotation, left arm, and then right for 30 seconds. All right? And then last thing we're gonna do is come down to our belly and do 30 seconds of swimmer. So it's a, it's a, I think it's a two minute series. So it's, it's gonna get long, okay? So get ready to start in your plank. All right, so decide, feet together, feet apart, set, go. Wherever you are, your 30 seconds, shoulders over your wrist, pull your belly in, pull your shoulder blades apart. You got 20 seconds here. Use your breath, your gaze is over the top of your mat. You are not looking back at your feet. Nice, strong plank. Hold it. Good. So right about now, it should be starting to burn. You got five, four, three, two, one. Right leg up, pulse it up, 30 seconds. Remember, you can drop that left knee if you need to, or stay nice and strong. I know you feel this. 15 seconds on this right side, pulse, pulse. Pulse for 10, 8, 5, 3, 2, 1, left leg, pulse it, 30 seconds, stay strong, keep breathing, you got it, you should be getting warm now, yes, creating so much strength, 15 seconds, and 10, are your arms shaking yet? Four, three, two, one. Separate your feet, right and left arm up. Alternate. I want you to find your plank and then pull the opposite arm up. Good. You got 15 seconds. Pull your belly in. You need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees. For five, four, three, two, one, come down to your belly, 30 seconds, swim it out, straight arms, straight legs, pull your belly in so tight, feel your hip bones connect as you swim, swim it out, last 15 seconds, 10, 9, 5 more, 4, 3, 2, one, bring your arms by your side, turn your right ear down, look to your left, take a break. Just breathe. Feel the heart rate pumping on your mat. Good, take another long deep breath in. Big exhale. All right, we got one more round because we love our prone series. So same thing, come all the way up to your feet. We're gonna take our 30 second plank, right leg, left leg, alternating, and then swimmer. So ready, set, go. Hold your plank. Remember, option to drop your knees, not to lift your hips up. Shoulders over wrists, open up your palms, look over the front of your mat, pull your belly in and breathe. So much to think about. Mental determination here, 15 seconds. Breathing in and out. Got 10 seconds. Beautiful, four, three, two, one. Separate your feet slightly, right leg pulses up, up, up. Those shoulders should be burning. Beautiful work, stay strong, dig deep. Pulse, pulse. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, switch. Left leg pulses. If your arms are shaking, you're doing it right. Keep breathing. Don't stop breathing. Last 15, you're almost there and we'll be done with this. Five, four, three, 
two, one, plant both feet, right arm, left arm, rise up, switching. Control it, try not to throw your hips around. See if you can keep your hips level with a slight twist. Breathe. We're gonna come down and go right to that swimmer in five, four, three, two, one. Come down, swim it out. Swim it out. Breathe. So your gaze is not up, your gaze is down. You're swimming. Kick those legs, kick those feet. Straight arms, straight legs, point your toes. Belly is tight for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Palms by your side, look to the right. <clears throat> Left ear down. Ah, uh, one breath in and out. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and reach over to our left side plank. We're going to do that same sequence, 30 seconds each. So we're holding our side plank. Then we're going to come down. We're going to reach the hand to the leg. And then we come all the way down and reach the top leg or the bottom leg to the top. Okay, everything is tight. Working that side body. All right, left shoulder over elbow, palms are flat. You're creating this beautiful L, okay? Decide where you want your feet, what works for you. 30 seconds on the clock. Set, go, 30 seconds. You can bring that right arm up, you can look up at your arm. You wanna make sure those hips are creating this level plane here. So if your shoulder is burning or hurting, adjust your leg. We don't want to burn the shoulder out. We want to make it stronger. Good. You got five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hip. Keep up on that shoulder. No earring. We're going to reach for that right leg. Reach. Reach. I want you to think about this oblique. Think about the side of your body here. Good, keep it going. Got 10 seconds. Keep it up. Five more. Last one, and all the way down. Top leg stays up, lift, lift, lift. If you get a cramp in your calf or in your foot, then just move your foot, either flex it or point it. Okay, sometimes those cramps will creep up on you. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, and last one, and release. Oh, grab your weights. We're coming back. This is our final core series, and then we're going to go into our standing series. So in your core, we're gonna do dead bug. Let me show you what it looks like. So feet, knees are parallel to the ceiling, feet are flexed. Arms are gonna come overhead and we're just gonna move, same arm, same leg, dead bug, okay? Actually, I think we do the other way. Yeah, yeah, same arm, same leg. No, 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 don't do that. You wanna bring your arm and leg out and then switch it. So they're really working each side of your stomach muscles. Okay, we're gonna do that for eight rounds, 20 seconds on. So one arm extends and that same leg extends. And then we switch, so it's the dead bug, okay? So we're here. You can keep your back flat on the ground, pull your belly button to your rib cage. Think of that tilted belly. So you really wanna Pull down on your belly. Now, to modify, you can drop the weights if it's too much. If you feel your back lifting, if you create an arch in your back, drop the weights or keep one leg down. So you can bring, instead of keeping your feet parallel, keep the leg that's not working down. Okay, that's your modification. Eight rounds. Set. 
Go. Dead bug. Use your breath. It's nice and slow. There's no reason to go fast. Your belly is working the entire time. Rest. Okay, we got eight rounds, so pace yourself. Ten second rest in between. Set, go. Pull your belly button all the way down to your ribs. Breathe. Keep it down, keep that belly button down, rest. Pull it down even before you start. Get set, go. Do not hold your breath. Shh. 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 You're so strong. Your core is getting stronger and stronger. Should not feel this in your back at all. Modify, rest. If you're feeling it in your back, drop the weights or bring your feet down. Set, go. We got eight rounds. Flex those feet if you can. Keep those shins parallel to the ceiling. Rest. We're halfway there. Whoo. Set. Go. Rest. You should be feeling it by now. Three more rounds. Set. Go. Keep breathing. And rest. Last two rounds, 40 more seconds. Set, go. Of four different hit series exercises. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do a squat. So squat, so you want your feet to be a little bit wider than hip width. We're gonna squat, come back, squat, left leg, come back. We're gonna do eight rounds. So it's basically four on the right, four on the left. So it's squat, right leg, keep it wide, squat, left leg, keep it wide. Okay, so we wanna keep that balance. So that's round one. And then I'll tell you round two after we finish this. So let's just go right into round one, okay? So squat, right leg back, squat, left leg back, lunging. Okay, set, go. You can go as fast or as slow as you need. You don't have to go my speed, you go your speed. Squat it, stay low. Now see if in your squat, you can stay low the whole time. Rest. Woo! The heart rate's gonna get up. You got seven more rounds of this. Set. Go. What I like to do is count how many I can get in that 20 seconds and either stay there or try to beat it. So if you didn't do that this time, do it the next time. That's what I do. Helps me keep my mind organized. Rest. So if you notice, every time you land on the right, start on the opposite side the next time, just to mix it up. Set, 
Go. 20 seconds goes by fast, but sometimes not fast enough. Building muscle in your legs, building mental strength. Pull your belly in, working your abs. Rest. 40 more seconds here. You got it. Set. Go. Making your ankles so strong. This strengthens all your joints. Stick with it. Your legs should be burning by now. Rest. Last round. Should be filling it in those thighs. We're gonna come down to our mat next. Last round, set, go. Keep it up. This is your last round. And rest. You did it. Good job. You only got three more rounds. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a tiger to a mountain climber. So we're going to do a super set. So it looks like this. You're gonna come here to a tiger, come forward, mountain climber for four, tiger, mountain climber for four, tiger. So you're pushing back, you're lunging forward, two, three, four. This is modified. You don't have to go as fast. This is gonna get your heart rate up. In between, come to your knees and rest. Okay, you guys ready? Eight rounds of this. Woo, here we go. Set, get in your mountain climber or tiger position and go. Tiger, mountain climber. Four counts. Rest, come all the way back, get off your arms. Take that 10 second rest, set, go. You can slow it down if you need to. Those legs should be burning. Rest. Come all the way back. Six more rounds to go. What? Only 14 more minutes left in your workout. Set. Go. Light on your feet. Shoulder more. 
mobility here. So good. Rest. Five more rounds. You guys sweating yet? Woo! I am dripping. Set. Go. And rest. Woo! Halfway there. Four more rounds. You got it. Set. Go. Remember, you can go as fast or slow as you need to. Rest. Three more rounds. You're working that heart muscle so good. Set. Go. Think of pouncing here. You're pulling back. Explode. Pull back. Explode. Rest. Two more. How are we doing? Are we hanging in there? Woo! All right. Set. Go. Oh, tight. Woo! rest. One more. One more. You got it. Set. Go. Just make it your best. This is your last one. Rest. Woo! All right, standing back up. You got two more rounds. You got about five more minutes of cardio. And then we move into our active recovery. Okay, so here's what it looks like. We're gonna come to a low lunge. When I say set, you're gonna lunge. Just right here, pulse it. And then rest. Bring your feet in, and then it's a feet together, palms down, push back, push forward, push back, push forward. And then we're gonna go lunge, left side. When I say set, you pulse, all right? Let me get this clock working, sorry. Let's take a break here, get some water. Ugh, stop. Funny me now, it's not stopping. Okay. All right. Ugh. I can't get it to stop. There we go. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. All right. All right. So it's a low lunge pulse and then to a jump back, feet together. Okay. All right. So go ahead and get that right leg back. Set, pulse, go, right here. Don't mind that, keep it going. Pulse it down, it's a little burn. Beautiful, for four, three, two, one, rest, feet together, shake it out. And then we're going to do the feet together, jump back, jump together. Or you could step it back one at a time to modify. Go. Keep your high plank low. If 
You can step it back one leg at a time or not. Rest. Woo! All right, we're gonna do left leg back to a low lunge. Set, go. Pulse straight down, building up that hip flexor on the left time, working that right front leg. And rest. Woo! Jump back. So remember, you can walk back, walk forward. Okay? You don't have to jump if you don't want to. Go. Or you can slow it down. I know you're hot. Rest. Right leg back. I'm sorry, left leg, yeah, right leg back. Ready, low lunge, go. Pulse it out. That left leg should be burning by now. Beautiful work. Rest. Woo! Got one more jump back and then left leg. Set, go. Rest. Okay, last time, left leg back. I'm gonna shorten it up just because of time, because I'm going over. So let me, all right, let me restart this. Set, left leg back, go. Pulse it out. You guys dripping? I'm dripping. Rest. Last time, jump backs. You can thank me later. Set, go. And rest. All right, so the next one, let's see if I can stop this. Can't stop this. Ugh. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is, so we didn't finish the whole round just because of time. We're gonna do triceps and then bare taps. So we'll just do six rounds. So it looks like this. Palms, fingertips towards you, arms back. Feet parallel. We're gonna lift, bend your elbows. Lift, so just the elbows are bending, so triceps, and then we're gonna come to bear, bear walk. So we forward, back, forward, back. Okay, we're just gonna do six rounds. So three and three, just because of time. All right. Take a rest, take a water, drink a water. Giving you a 10 second rest just to catch up with the clock here. All right, here we go. Set, go. Just bend your elbows, triceps. Now if it's too hard, you can set your booty down and just bend your elbows back. Okay, if you need a modifier here. Or lift up and down, working those shoulders. Two, rest, come around. Bear climber, so we're just walking our feet forward and back. Set, go. Pull your belly in. This is gonna start to slow your heart rate down. 
Feels like a massage after all that work we've done. Rest. Triceps. One more of each and then we're done. Fingertips towards you. Set. Go. Rest. Last time. Bear claws. Bear climbers. Not bear claws. That's a, that's a nasty dessert we shouldn't be eating. Set. Go. Walk it out. Although bear claws are really yummy, bear climbers are much better. Good. Almost there. And rest. You're done. You did it. So I shortened it up just a little bit just because of time. But you did it. Come to your hands and your knees. Woo! Palms are down. Take your right leg. Send it back. Lift it up. Make arches or rainbows, right foot to left, right foot to right. Just letting it go. Woo, slowing your breath. If your wrists are sore, you can come down to your elbows. We're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, Four, three, two, one. Come to center. Bend your right knee. Pull it into your chest. Hollow your belly. And then lift your right heel up. Look up. Let's do four more. Breathe in and lift. Three. And four. And lift it up. And bring your right knee down. Left leg long, lift up, arc it from side to side, right and left. Take long, deep breaths as you move from side to side. Ooh. Slowing everything down for five, four, three, Two, one, take your right left leg back, bend your knee, pull it into your chest, hollow your belly, and then lift your heel up, look up. Pull it in, and lift two, let's do three more. One more, beautiful. Bring your knees down, draw your hips back, reach your arms forward, oh. Release your back, shake your booty from side to side. Beautiful. Bring your hands to the right, hips to the left. Give them a little shake out to the side. Lots of good work in your back. So you want to stretch it out. And then all the way to center, hips to the right, arms to the left. Beautiful. Go ahead and cut, bring your hips to one side. Send your legs out in front. Take your arms above your head. Big breath in and then fold. Stretch forward. Oh. Breathe it in and out. Slow your breath. Half lift your chest, long spine, and let it go. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bend your knees. One vertebrae at a time. Roll onto your back. 
and then pull your knees into your chest. Give them a little hug. Extend your left leg. Hold on to your right knee about two inches below the knee and then pull your right knee away from your ribs towards your right shoulder. See if you can draw both shoulders down. Just a nice big stretch for your hip. And we'll switch sides. Straighten out your right leg. Hold your left shin at about two inches away from your knee. Pull the shin, the knee away from your ribs. Pull it towards your shoulder. Your right calf is down, your foot is flexed. Long, straight right leg, breathe in and out. See if you can find a big deep breath in and out. And then go ahead and release your left leg. Take your arms above your head, legs are long, point your toes. Stretch your spine so long. Oh, oh, big exhale. Good. And then just go ahead and grab behind your hamstrings and roll up. 